Yes. It's me again. Yeah. And I'm back. TLC. So I already primed my face and I'm going to go into my ABH contour cream kit and use the shade in coral as a color corrector to cover up any blemishes. to use my black opal liquid foundation in the shade hazelnut I know it does look a bit light on me and that's because this foundation has a yellow undertone and I have red undertones in my skin it is really hard to find a foundation with red undertones but once I start to blend everything out it will look good it's all about blending and you will see that once I start contouring I'm going to go into my ABH contour kit again and use the shade in Carbo as a contour. I'm going to use this on my forehead, my nose, and my cheekbones. And this will just help bring some definition back into my face and accentuate my features. I'm going to highlight using the shade in cinnamon. I'm going to use this on my nose, my forehead, under my eyes, my chin, and under my cheek contour. Third shade I'm going to use on my forehead to help me contour is in Expresso. Yes. I have two beauty blenders to help me blend everything out. This is so important. You have to blend, blend, blend. If you do not blend well, it will show and we don't want that.
Now I'm going to set my highlighted areas with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder. I'm actually going to use the baking method and leave this on my face for a good 10 minutes. Finish the look, I'm going to use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Copenhagen and also line it with Palladio Blackberry. Now I'm going to set my makeup using Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray. enjoyed it and I have so much more stored with this YouTube channel so yes I hope you guys enjoyed it and keep coming back of course um but I did want to use just a few minutes of y'all time just to talk about a few things so let me just jump right into it the foundation I used was black opal true color pore perfecting liquid foundation now I absolutely love this foundation but what I've noticed it's really hard to find like I can barely find this in Walmart or drugstores near me so if you can't find it in a store near you you can also buy it online at blackopal.com this was like ten dollars really good price I definitely recommend it if you can definitely check it out but if you can't find it online not online but if you can't find it in stores and you don't feel like buying it online the alternative I have for that that really works for me also is Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Liquid Foundation. My color is in coconut with this Maybelline foundation. I absolutely love it. Uh, with this black opal, my color is hazelnut. So you guys can check out either or. Just suggestions, of course. Um, also, what did I want to say? Oh, for next time, I will definitely start doing full face tutorials. I know people have been getting on to me like, bro, so when are you going to start doing that? I got y'all. I got y'all. It just took some time. I just wanted to break things down, like I said before. Just, you know, show y'all how to do eyebrows. Show you guys highlight contouring. And then go into, like, full face details and everything like that. So that's coming out pretty soon. Look out for it. Uh, and last but not least, I remember telling you guys I wanted to do my own little TED Talk videos. So, I'm just coming to you guys to let you guys know that. Also, I would love to hear suggestions as far as topics you would want me to talk about. So, I am going to leave my social media in the description box below. And you guys can hit me up on any of my social media sites and let me know what you want to hear from me as far as what you want me to talk about with things you're interested in um with me uh some topics that i have lined up is uh college how to deal with stress in college how to deal with college in general um the standard of beauty and also just talking about my own, own story um like how i learned to love myself or how i learned to 
love my dark skin and every things like that so that's stuff i'm interested in so hopefully you guys will also be interested in those topics because that's coming up but again i will love to hear from you guys i will also put my email address down so if you want to hit me up personally if you have um, any questions or if you want me to give you advice also i could definitely do that for you guys so yes i am definitely looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say as far as suggestions topics even constructive criticism like i am all ears i definitely want to hear all of that so yeah i think that's about it now i'm gonna just leave you guys until next time stay prosperous remember you're blessed and I'll see y'all later.